Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that most likely you want to add to your arsenal of tools. And that is this boroscope inspection tool. It comes in handy, especially if you want to look through some areas in your RV without taking it all apart. Well, after our introduction video, I'm going to show you different features of this particular tool, which does not require Wi-Fi. So stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this boroscope inspection tool that I got in order to use it in the RV and which is going to be pretty cool. In fact, this video here shows you how I use it in order to inspect inside of the hot water tank, which comes very handy. But it comes with this own monitor so I don't have to use my cell phone, uh, which is nice. It's not Wi-Fi, it's just directly from here. And then it comes with its own camera cable, and I believe there's about six feet of cable. And then it has this little stand that you can put in the back, so like that it can stand by itself. It's got the uh, USB cable that you can uh, charge it with. And it also has a magnet and also a hook that you can install at the end of your camera tip. What's nice about this here is not only have this camera in the front, but it also has side cameras too. So let me show you how it works. We're going to go ahead and plug it in, and it goes right here in the top. There's a little button there. You can hear it snap. Once you hear it snap, it's in place. So I'm going to explain the different features of this boroscope camera that I got that is pretty cool. Obviously, this is the on and off button. I have it on right now, and I have the camera pointing to the screen itself. But then on here, you have the M for the different modes. So you can see up here, it's got a camera. I can actually take a, sh uh, a snapshot. You hear it. And then if I want to move it to video, it's in video mode. I'll go ahead and record it. You can see down here the seconds and flashing showing that it's being recording. And then you can stop it there again. And so, so those are your modes right there. Okay, and you can actually view on here what you recorded. So for example, let's go ahead and view this. So you could always double check to make sure that what you recorded was, was fine by viewing it there on, on what you have saved in your, uh, your micro SD card. Then what you have here is um, uh, this setting here, which is the brightness of this light. Check the light out. So I'm going to turn it on. Let me show it here. There it is. A little dimmer. And then off. So that's the option there. And uh, let me go ahead and turn the light back on. The settings. Resolution. The date label. Shutter sound language, date, format, that whole thing's right here in the settings. And then you got these arrows up and down. That's for to focus in on something. So notice if I go up, it zooms in. So you got two different zoom modes and then it goes back to normal. So technically three zoom modes. Normal, zoom one, which is 1.3, and then 1.5, and then back to normal. And then if you zoom in, you can zoom back out. Oh, this is flipping it. I had no idea. That's something I learned. So you're flipping the camera. And let me show you how to do the side cameras. With this little button right here, we press it. Now it's giving you the bottom view. Now I'm gonna turn it again. It's gonna give you the top view here. You can see it's showing up to the ceiling. You can see that showing you up to the ceiling. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit it and give a, a straight view. Bottom view, top view, and straight view. It would be nice to put a white mark right on here so then you know which is 12 o'clock. And that's what this 
button here is four. And then on the bottom is where you have your, as long as I can open it up here, you have your spot for your uh, micro USB micro card and then USB charger. This is where you charge it at. Okay. And then, of course, in the back you have brace that will help you to set it on a table like I have it there. So like that, it can stand by itself. This, this here is not waterproof, water resistant, but this is waterproof, the camera. So you can dunk this in water, no problem, but not your unit. Now I'm going to show you how to put the magnet on and also the hook. So it comes with this little cap. You unscrew it. So here's your hook. You can see that. There's your hook. And then this is your magnet here. And what you want to do is you unscrew this. Real easy to do. You unscrew that. And then you go ahead and screw the magnet piece on there. What's nice about it, since it's screwed in, if you tug on something, you know you're not going to lose it. So you can still have plenty of visual. This is the hook that we have here and as you can see it has the hook but you can see still look around so let's say we can grab that magnet there and we're going to hook it up boom there it is and you can retrieve it so i'm going to show you when we stick it into the hot water heater and the hole with the uh, anode so you can see and what it looks like So there's some water. Oh, look at all that crud right there. So that's before flushing. You can see all that crud. So right there you can see the heating element right there. It's got some stuff. And then we'll see how what it looks like after the flushing and then after we do the vinegar water. It's a pretty good tool to have in order to get to tight places and pretty affordable. The, uh, in the description, you'll see the link on uh, my Amazon. It doesn't cost you any more, but this is one way that you can support our channel, that if you do buy it, we do make a little bit of commission on it, and it's a way of showing appreciation for our channel, and I appreciate that if you do. But it is a handy tool to have. Uh, when I used to work on airplanes, I was certified as a boroscope inspector, and something similar to this is what we would use and so now I'm able to inspect in areas without taking it all apart and be able to inspect to see if there's whatever damage there is by just putting in like either a 5 16 hole because I think this is a quarter inch. So guys I hope this helped little tutorial about this uh, uh, boroscope camera if you like this video give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time